All right, folks, welcome back to Fishing with T. Ravis. I'm out here on Lake St. Clair today, seeing if I can't get on some smallies. It's a little bit windy and there's a storm blowing in later, but we'll see if we can't put a few fish in the boat. All right, folks, so I launched from Selfridge Boat Ramp, and based on reports, the smallies were in 10 to 15 feet of water. So I just started out heading towards deeper water, testing the depth with my anchor and making cast until I hooked into the first fish of the day. Fish on folks, fish on. Didn't think I'd find him. Oh no, he came off, are you kidding me? I didn't think I'd find him out here in the winds and waves. Oh, he's back on, he's back on. Oh, nice fish. What the, ah, why is he keep letting go? All right, I don't know if he's just small or this hook is not great. There we go. I think he's a nice one. I mean, he is just pulling straight down. I'll loosen up the drag a little bit. Don't want to break him off. First nice fish of the day. He's a little worried for a while, but... Oh, big smallie. Big, big smallie. Dang, brother. Get over here. Come here, buddy. Dang, he is fighting hard. It's no lie that these smallies here at Lake St. Clair fight hard. Woo! Oh, he swallowed that too. Woo! Big boy. All right, folks, finally got that first fish of the day, as you can see. So we're going to anchor down, see if we can't catch another nice smallies in this spot. All right, folks, so I caught that first one just on a four inch green tender tube from Bass Pro Shops. And um, I'm in about 10 feet of water or so. Hopefully we can get another smallie to bite here soon. All right, folks, so as the wind picked up, I realized my little anchor wasn't enough to hold me in place. So I just kind of kept moving, casting with my tube, trying to find weed beds or rock beds by just dragging it along the bottom and just waiting for another fish to bite. And eventually I ended up here and started catching some nice smallies. Oh, big smallie on for fish of the week, week 20. And hopefully we can get this big bad boy in the boat for fish of the week, week 20. Uh, as you can tell, it's a little windy and wavy out here, but you know, we are doing our best. He is getting no closer to the boat. He is just kind of running away farther and farther. Absolute monster, folks. Absolute monster. Oh, come here, big boy. Fish of the week, week 20, baby. Just got absolutely drenched, but we got the third smallie of the day on. He went completely airborne there, folks. But he's coming to the boat fast. By fast, I mean right now, even though he does not want to be here. And he's fighting. He's a little bit smaller than the first two. He's fighting hard. But we got him, folks. Woo! Bye, buddy. Thank you. I got another smallmouth on the line, baby. Woo! Easy there, buddy. Easy. Loosen up the drag a touch. Oh, he is a pretty one. Oh, stay down, big boy. They kind of all been the same size. No monsters, but nothing really small either. We're going to get them in the boat. We're going to get them in the boat. Alright, nice 
never mind, just weeds, just weeds. Almost impossible to tell the difference between a bite and weeds when I'm blowing around and going up and down. But we're catching fish, we're catching fish. So after fish four, I struggled to find another fish for a while. So I switched to a little Ned rig and eventually moved into deeper water where I found the next couple of fish with a white tube. All right, thought I was just dragging through weeds, but it was uh, another smallie. Switch to a uh, kind of white cream colored uh, tube. I'll show you when I get this fish in the boat. But uh, it's been a little bit, but we're back on a fish. Ooh, come here, buddy. Come here. All right. He's going for another run. Oh, it's a big run. I almost had him to the boat. Switching sides on me. Not bad, not bad. Uh, like I said, cream colored tube. All right, once again, thought I was dragging weeds, watching the big boat go by, and uh, big old Smalley was out here eating my tube. Oh, he, oh, I don't know if he's a giant smallie or a pike, question mark, that or he's just an absolute monster of smallie. He looks ginormous. I mean, he looks just massive in the water. Oh my gosh, he's so big. Come here, buddy. Come here. I just want to say hi. Then I'll let you go. Oh, my gosh. It's like I'm stuck on a log. He's just pulling me straight down. Oh, my gosh, dude. Like I said, absolutely massive. Woo! Fish six of the day, folks. So, after catching that big one, the fish kind of seemed to go into hiding again. So I decided to try a shad in smoke color rigged in a drop shot. But even that didn't get him biting again. And since I was tired of battling the wind, I decided to just drift in for a little bit, take a break, and eat my Subway sandwich before getting back to it. So, with my little break over, I decided to try this spot right here. But, without any luck, I decided to start heading back towards the boat ramp, fishing some deeper water on my way in. And that's where I hooked into the biggest surprise of the day. All right, after my little break, I was, ooh, nice smallie. I was starting to head in and uh, had one more spot I wanted to check out here. And uh, now we got a smallie on, how about that? Come here, smallie. Oh, largey. Look at that. First largemouth of the day. That's kind of crazy. Missed him. Got him, baby. Oh, another largey. Another largey on the way in. 
All right, folks, so I wasn't able to catch another smallie, but despite the wind, I think I had a pretty good day netting seven nice smallmouth and two nice largemouth. Um, could I have done better? Probably, but I'm out here blowing all around. I ain't got no electronics to locate like specific points where the fish are sitting. So despite those facts, I think I did pretty good and I had a great time. So until next time, that's all for fishing with T-Ravis.